Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the best time tracking software. There is a lot of time tracking tools that are available on the market. And in this video, I break down my top three favorite time tracking tools. The first of which is the easiest to use. The second is going to actually sit on your computer and track everything that you do to show you how productive you are being, what websites you waste the most time on, and allow you to set goals to be more productive. And then the third is going to be the overall best time tracking tool for either tracking your own projects and tasks, or alternatively tracking the time that you spend on your client work. Before we jump in, if you do want to get any of the time tracking tools mentioned in this video, I will leave links in the description. So starting off with the easiest to use, and this is my hours. So to access my hours, you can either go to myhours.com or click on the top link in the description and we will be taken over to this screen. So first of all, let's talk about the pricing that we can get with this. And as you can see, we have two plans. We have the free plan, which is absolutely fantastic. And then the pro plan is relatively cheap as well. And you can get a 14 day free trial to this. This free plan is going to allow us to add up to five users. So if you have a small team of five or less people, then you will be able to use this free plan of my hours. We are able to create unlimited projects and clients. We are able to track time on projects and tasks, set billable rates, and generate detailed reports. So I recommend everybody sign up to the free plan at first, and then later down the line, if you do need to sign up to the pro plan, if you need any of these features right here, the main one is going to be generating client invoices. But if you do need this, then you can upgrade for just $8 per month. So going down right here, this is basically my hours, and I will show you a live demo of this. But essentially the way it works is each user on your team gets their own timesheet to fill out daily or weekly. So we can basically change this between the daily time frame right here or the weekly time frame. And then we are going to have each of our team members. So as the owner, if I had more team members, I would be able to click into, let's say I have a team member called James. I would be able to click into James. I would be able to see all of James's projects that he's tracked on here, all of the tasks that he's complete, and then all of the time tracking. So not only can I track my own projects and tasks and times, but as the owner, I will also be able to click into here and I will be able to see everybody else on my team, how much work they have been doing, the projects that they have been doing and everything like that. So as an example, let's do this from my point of view right now. We can go to the project section and let's create a new project. So let's say that we are going to set up a marketing campaign for a coffee company. So I'm just going to title this marketing campaign. Then for the client, we can click in here and create a new client. And let's just call this coffee company. So we can then create this and then click on create. And as you can see, this is now going to drop into the project area. Now we can create the individual task that we are doing within this. So I can click on task right here, create new. And then let's call this first one writing ad copy. Then we can click on create. And in here, we can now track the time. So let's say that yesterday I spent seven hours on this. So I'm just going to put seven hours right here. And then you can see Monday is now tagged as seven hours. Then today, let's say so far I have spent three hours on this. Three hours is then going to be tagged right here. And then I can see the total time that I spent on this project. So, so far I have spent 10 hours in total writing ad copy. Then maybe we can go down and add the same company right here. So the coffee company marketing campaign. And this one, we will put create ad campaigns, just like that. Then we can go in here. Let's say yesterday I spent three hours on this. Today I have spent one hour so far. And then we can see this is all going to be tracked. I can see the total amount of time I have spent on each task. I can see the total amount of time I have spent on the project. And then we can go down if we want to create a new project and a new client. Then we just enter that in right there. So this is the weekly time frame, and we can also go into the daily time frame. So I can see the amount of time that I've spent so far today. And what I can do is also go to add new time log, and I can create a time log right here. So once again, we can select the coffee company marketing campaign. We can then select the task. Then we can add a description or we can attach files, anything that we need to attach right here. The date and time, so let's add another hour to this. And then we can click on add time log. Another thing that we can do inside the daily area is we can actually add a new time. So let's say I'm about to spend some more time creating some ad campaigns. 
I can go new timer and it's now going to create a timer for me. So we can click in, we'll go marketing campaign, create ad campaigns and then save. And just like that, it's now going to start tracking this time. So we've already spent two hours on this in total. That's where this comes from. And it's now going to start counting up. So I could now go into a new tab. I could continue with my marketing campaigns. And as we can see right here, it's going to be constantly tracking the time. Once we have finished, we can come back and click on stop. And just like that, this has now been added. Over on this left hand side, this is where we can just add projects in. So we can either add projects in this area by just going here. We can create new and create a project. Or alternatively, if we have a new project coming up, I as the owner can just come in here. Let's say this is Instagram content creation. For, and then we'll go pet client, create. And then we can create that right there. And then in here, we can now go to track and the pet client Instagram content creation is now going to show up. We can also go to reports right here and we can see a report on this. So we can see the total hours that have been put in. We can see the tasks that this has been split between. And we can even go up here and filter between certain users. So I could go for Riley Holden, for example, or another one of my users, and then see their individual statistics. Now, the second option is a very different type of time tracker, because instead of tracking hours that you have been working on client projects, instead, this is going to basically track your entire computer and show you how much time you have been spending on different websites and different apps. So I absolutely love this app. It basically shows me where I'm wasting time, how much time I'm spending on YouTube. It will tell you how much time you are spending on Slack or Premiere Pro if you are editing videos. And this is actually an app that we need to download. So we can click on download app right here, enter in the email that we want to send this to, and then we can click on send me a link. Going over to that email, you can see right here, we have an email from Rise. So we can now go in and download this for whichever system you are on. So we can select that right there. And then the download is now going to start. So we can now open up the app and click on get started right here. Go through and just agree to all of this. Then we can go through and select the time zone that we are in. So we can select that right there. Select the time format. So if this is a 24 hour or 12 hour clock. Then we can just go through and choose when we want to track hours. So we might want to set this up in different times. For example, you probably don't want to track your hours that you're not going to be working. So what I would do is I would just go up here and set my working hours just like that. Then click on next. We can also set up idle detection, which is automatically going to detect when you are taking a break from your computer. And then we can also set up calendar integrations. So this is basically going to detect when you are in a meeting, if you have meetings on your calendar. So you can choose to integrate with a Google or Outlook calendar. So this is Rise right here. And we can see we are currently on this daily time frame, and it's immediately going to start tracking what we are doing. So you can see it since I downloaded the app Rise until now, which was four minutes ago, it's going to create this block. So inside of this block is miscellaneous and entertainment. So I spent four minutes on miscellaneous, which is if we look right here, rise, and then 15% of that time, less than one minute, which is entertainment on YouTube. We can then scroll out to the weekly, and then we can see a weekly chart of this, seeing all of the days right here, the categories. And the reason that I really like rise is because if you have team members and you really want to track what they are doing, well, you can't really hide this with rise. With some of the other time tracking apps, you are essentially relying on people to be honest and track their time correctly. Whereas with rise, you can't really hide from this. It's going to automatically track your time or your employees time and show you exactly what they were doing, what applications they were using, what websites they were using at each time of the day. So it's basically going to look like this, where it tracks using blocks for each each individual hour of the day and is constantly going to be tracking them between the time that we set earlier. In the activity section, this is going to show what you and your team actually did. And then in the project section, this is where we can plan out our day and show what we are actually meant to do. So for example, I'm recording a video right now. So what I could do is go to projects right here, set the start time to 8 a.m. So I'll go 8 a.m. And then probably like 9 a.m. we can finish recording this video. So we will go to create project right here and we will call this recording. Then we can click on save. And as you can see, this is now going to drop it. Maybe later on in the day, we are going to be editing some videos. So let's select this to editing. And then we will set the time to 12 
p.m. And then we can finish editing at about 4 p.m. So if I now save this, this is going to pop up as editing. So I should now see that from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m., I should strictly be in Adobe Premiere Pro. If I'm not, then I'm not working very effectively. So this is really the app that you can use to reference what you and your team were meant to be doing and then what they were actually doing using this activity section. We can also go out to the weekly chart right here. And then this is going to show you what you were doing on each day. So in the category section, it's going to show you the categories and groups that you were using. And then right here we have projects. So I can see that I'm planned to spend four hours on editing and one hour on recording. So looking at this, if I actually had this set up and saw these statistics, I would think, right, okay, we probably need to add some more recording in here and maybe reduce some of the editing time. We can also do this for the monthly and get a monthly overview and a yearly overview right here. We can then go down to categories and see the categories that we have been using. So once again, it's just going to track and then show us a timeline along the top. We can also see a pie chart and then a quick overview of all of the websites and apps that we have been using as well as categories. In the project section, this is where we can create new projects. So we can set them up right there and then we will just be able to select them in the project section. And a very cool feature of Rise is once again, they have this timer function. So we can see the time since I last had a break is going to be 11 minutes 43, but I can go in here and I can click on start focus, then enter a goal for this session, record time tracking video, start focus. And just like that, it's now going to start a 45 minute focus session. We can either choose to extend this by five minutes and that's going to add five minutes to the timer. We can add 30 minutes to this. It's going to add 30 minutes to the timer. And then we can click on end focus to finish this session. We can start a break. So if we want to track a break that we have, we can choose the break time right here. Then we can start break. If we have a meeting, we can choose the meeting time by going to duration. And then if we want to pause tracking entirely, we can just come in here and pause tracking. We can also set goals. So we have goal templates right here and we can choose from any of these goals. So let's say we want to set a minimum work hours. Well, we can go in here, create goal and let's call this minimum work hours. Let's just choose this for this entire week. So from Tuesday up until Saturday, that's the days that I work. Then we can go for minimum hours and I want to be doing nine hours of work per day. So I can set that right there, create this, and then we can see this is going to come up as a goal. The final feature that is absolutely awesome about Rise is they also have background music that you can use. So if we go right here, right now this is set to silent and I don't want to play any of these because I don't know the copyrights if I'm putting them in a YouTube video. But what we could do is click on lo-fi beats for example and then it's going to play lo-fi beats. We have jazz lounge or any of these other options. So that is Rise right there and a very awesome time tracking app. And then the final option, in my opinion, this is the best time tracking app available. The only thing is it can be a little bit expensive. So once again, we do have an awesome free version right here. So this is completely free for up to five users. We are able to get unlimited time tracking, unlimited clients and tags. We can get reports, automated time tracking, Google and Outlook calendar integration, and we get a basic free plan right here. Now you might notice that we do have this $18 plan. However, the thing about toggle track is it can get a lot more advanced than my hours. So my hours, the first one that we looked at is very basic. It's very easy to use, but it's a very basic time tracking software. Whereas with toggle track, with both of these more paid plans, we can get some more advanced features. So if we open up toggle track right here, you can immediately see that we have a very nice user interface. This calendar right here is where we actually go ahead and track all of our projects. So if I just sign back into my hours right here, it's very different. Whereas in here, we have these different rows where we input the projects. In toggle track, it's all done on this calendar. So let's say earlier today from 6 a.m. till 8 a.m., I was working on some marketing services for that coffee company. So in here, we can add a project. So we can call this marketing services then advanced options and we can go in here and add a client so let's go in and add the coffee company client just like that then we can click on create project right here so right here we now have marketing services for coffee company and then in the description let's just call this creating ads then we can click on save 
And if we stretch this out now from 6 a.m. till 8 a.m., we can see that is now going to be tracked on my calendar. So we can see this is automatically tracked that this is two hours between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. And then if we want to create more projects, we just follow this same method to add all of our time tracking onto the calendar. We also have this timing feature in the top right corner. So this is basically a staple. We basically need to have this as a time tracking software. But we can go ahead and click on play right there. And as you can see, that's now tracking my time. So I could go ahead and continue with my work. And as you can see up here, it's going to be constantly tracking my time. Then we can come back in here and let's just go marketing services once again. So that's now tagged. Then we can stop this. And that time entry is now going to be added. So you can see the week total right there is now going to account for that. If I add something in right here, so let's say that between eight and nine, uh, we did some work for a different client. So we can go right here. And let's say this was for the, uh, the pet company. So we'll go marketing services. For this time, we'll just call this pet company. And we can add that in right there. And then you can see along the top, it's going to show us what projects we have been spending most of the week on. So if I hover over this, we can see marketing services for the coffee company is two hours 18, and this is 66% of the time. And then the other 33% of the time, one hour was spent on the pet company. So a fantastic way to track up here. We can also flick this over to the list view. So this is very similar to how my hours work in that we can track everything right here in the list view. But I really do prefer the calendar. I think it just gives us a much better insight into where time has been spent and where we are spending our time on different projects. Aside from that, we have this report section where we can go in and it's very similar to the My Hours report that we spoke about earlier. But we can essentially go in, see where we have been spending our time and how much time we have been working. We can see all of the different projects down here, the duration we have spent on each and what this is as a percentage, as well as some pie charts down here. We can then go down to projects. We can add in different projects and clients right here. So I could go in and say that this is going to be a soda company, just like that. Uh, sorry, that was meant to be the client, so soda company. We can add that in right there. And then this would be marketing services. Then we can create project. And that's going to just create a project right here. So once again, as the owner, you might want to do this. And then once this is created, you and your clients will be able to come in here and just easily select them from this client area. So Soda Company Marketing Services. And the cool thing about this as well, something I will mention with Toggle Track, is I really like how each different company and each different client is going to show up as a different color. So it makes it very easy to read and see. The final thing that I'm going to talk about inside of Toggle Track is integrations, because they have by far the best integrations from any app out there. So not only can you, of course, connect up your calendar, both Google and Outlook to track meetings and things like that. But we can also go down and add some native integrations. So if you use Asana as well as a project management tool, then you can connect this up. If you use QuickBooks as an accounting software, we can connect that up as well. And if you use any of these apps, it makes it so much easier to track your time and track your expenses and how much you are making if you add both of these. So those are the top three time tracking tools. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.